morning guys welcome to today today is Saturday shopping and no kids no kids are allowed to go shopping anymore like my kids have not hit a store and at least a month like it's insane how long have we had the horses home has it been three weeks Probably. three weeks maybe I don't know I, I've lost all track of time I think we all have today Sam and I are going to brave the masses and get some essentials probably have to stand in line I hate shopping now with this corona it's awful but Good news it turns out that our numbers in Canada are going down they're starting to go down it's the beginning of the end I'm calling it now so hopefully it'll be over soon basically today I want us to do a lot of interacting with Chino with cappuccino minute because I don't know if you guys have noticed but Gabby and Chino are still struggling um, she finds it easier to ride storm in the indoor Chino is too hard to ride in the indoor and in our outdoor like she just she's still learning him and without a coach it's made it that much harder I don't know if you guys see that in the videos but she definitely keeps resorting back to storm because storm is easier for her so I need to do something to really step up this game and so we're gonna try and make this video all about Chino and Gabby and building them a better bond All right, we've been standing in line for about 30 minutes. We're almost at the Golden Gate, Golden Entrance. So this is what I need for Gabby and Sophie. They're doing a project on Gabby's channel. So the color we need is behind the pole. Yeah, I see it. Good job, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's not rose gold. Is it? Clearly paint choice selection has been altered by COVID-19. So I'm gonna get champagne pink, blue, silver. I don't know, I'm stuck on colors. But I have silver, blue, pink, and dark pink. Okay, so you guys know Gabby's puppy's coming really soon. Like, maybe sooner than you think. Like, there could be more surprises coming soon. Sooner than you think. Anyways, um, so I have to get food for him, for her. And I know Gabby wanted to be here and pick out the food. I'm probably gonna get this small bag. Um, I like Imes, it's a medium quality food. It's a medium priced food. I think Gabby's gonna be buying her own food. So the only problem is, I'm 100% sure that this is what the puppy, this is what the mom gets. I saw a bag of it there. So she, they get pedigree, she gets pedigree. I definitely don't want to be switching over what she gets. Like I don't want to take, I don't, like she needs to transition slowly or else she's going to have a problem. So I don't know how I'm going to do that because I don't think Pedigree has a puppy. Some food in yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him if I can buy a little bit of the food that he's giving her and then switch her to this stuff. This is the kind of gum I chew in case anybody's interested. I got Gabby this, um, this, vanishing cream for her acne that's Sophie's shorts all right so that was horrible I like get so frustrated by the time I'm done not because of the people I hate it like I did the self checkout and it's always annoying to me but here's the thing that I feel like this is the thing that I feel like and yeah it might not be the popular opinion but I feel like I'm not afraid of catching COVID-19 like I feel like we're at the tail end of it I feel like we probably already all had it anyway and I feel like and yes I know that it could wreak havoc it doesn't choose it picks and choose who's gonna get it I don't feel that I'm at high risk I do feel that Sam and Sophie could be at high risk but I'm not afraid of getting it I uh, yeah I'm not afraid of getting it so when I go in the store I'm not like all paranoid like oh my gosh somebody's coughing but all these things that we have in place seriously set the scene for pandemonium like this all this extreme is sets the stage for people to be anxious like I feel this anxious going in there I see other people feel anxious look at the lineup big long lineup all the way down the road there that's where we were but at least I spent a ton of money that's the other thing like you don't ever want to go back so you bought everything that you might need in the next 20 years so yeah I did that so yeah, hopefully I won't have to go back for a long time. It's already one o'clock. We need to get home and feed our horses and play with them. So for your craft, are you ready to see what colors I could get? They didn't have any of the colors. Wait, 
Back up, Gabby. I'm showing you them. Okay, so I got yellow. Yellow and blue go together. Oh, good. I got blue. Do you like that color? I got rose champagne. They didn't have rose gold. Rose gold. I got purple. Pink. Bright pink. Ew. Purple and pink and rose gold. Do not go together. No, but purple and pink go good together. Purple and pink I like are like bar colors. I don't know no. why I don't like them together. Oh, okay. I'll take that one. Oh, we can. You, no. you guys can both use them. So she is having the colors that you can not use, use all of them. Together. You can use any colors. We need lots of different colors when we do it. Okay, these are mine, and then I'm using the silver. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Wait. So you're gonna use yellow and blue and silver, and you're gonna use pink and purple and silver? Yeah. Oh, what about the poor rose gold? I use them too. I got you acne cream. It is so expensive. And look at how big the tube is. It's it was small. It's so small. It's like eight grams it's or something. Horse things. Yeah. Expensive for nothing. All right, so what are you gonna do with Chino today? Play with him. All right. Teach him tricks. And what are you gonna do today? Yeah. Um, um, I'm gonna do some more line driving with Willow, but out in the field. Oh, uh, no. It's too wet it's in too the field. Grassy too. No, like, um. On the hill? On the hill and stuff. All right, check it out. Make sure it's not too wet no. first. I also got two bags of carrots for our horses. I like giving them carrots. I don't know why. I like it better than treats. I don't know when they, when did you feed Hendrix last? Gabby said she fed Hendrix this morning and his food was already gone. So like we feed him every morning and his food is always gone. So it's just odd that we never, that we never see him. Well, hello there, Mr. Handsome. I'm gonna call him Romeo. That's what your name should have been, Romeo. This dude loves to kiss, loves to kiss. Right? You're a kissing boy. He's a kissing horse. So if you saw that video that we put up the other day of um, telling, being able to guess our horses, guess our horses, um, I chose to make them kiss because we're a kissing family. Like we're always kissing our horses. So I thought that, that would be like a fun way to do it. Um, they're all going to be triplets. Matching leather halters all with nameplates and all with nose. Aw, I love it. Gabby, do you know your birthday's in one week from today? Yeah, I know. That's crazy to me. Oh my gosh, look at this carrot. Who gets this carrot? No. I thought you were gonna say Storm, because you always say Storm. Kiss, kiss. He's gonna learn how to kiss. Yeah, he's gonna learn how to kiss today. He already knows that. Yeah, he is a really good kisser. You I mean, I don't know, I've never been kissing. And then you stop, and he keeps kissing. Yeah. Hi, princess girl. See her spot? She's got a heart-shaped regrowth area there. So yeah, we fixed her blanket. I'm so sad that we put her blanket on so tight that it ripped off all of her fur. Yeah, we put fur on every single one of their leather halters so that they could all be triplets. Like, we have triplets, you guys. Chino's like, let me eat them! He literally chews everything. So the reason I wanted to play with Gino today is to get to know him better and to see what he can do because he's so playful. So his owner lost his papers. He's registered. Um, back up. Yeah, but they ordered new ones. Back it up. Get, no, you're not coming in. Like, I don't know. Yeah, they say your name on it because you own him. So your name is on two sets of papers and Sophie owns one. But we're okay with that. Yeah, good. Shave her right down. Anyway, I don't know if you guys remember the story, but she did fall and break her leg badly the day before she was getting ready to go to Florida with the, both of her horses. And so what happened then was that nobody could find the papers and she can't get like there. She couldn't get there. And um, then like another couple weeks later, she fell and rebroke the same leg trying to get to the bathroom. I don't know. Big, huge story, but Gracie's my horse, maybe. But 
she ordered new ones, but then the whole COVID-19 thing. So we'll find out all the information, like when uh, Chino's birthday is and all that kind of good stuff once we get the papers back. So you guys might not know, but I have a carrot. <laughs> That's why she's with me. Back it up. She's such a pretty horse. I miss my grandkids so much. Like, I'm excited to see them. Okay, sit. Do horses know how to sit? Yeah, I guess they do. Okay, little bite. Good girl. You need a brush too. My goal today while the girls play with their horses is to try to clean this a bit more. I've actually been not minding the hay, the extra hay in here because it's been really helping with the mud. Fiona said it would be too slippery if they were like running and stuff in the mud, but it's actually been giving us lots of really good traction and I've been loving it. on your video we're asking why he's so skinny that hurt my heart we've been working so hard to get he him chubby has he lost a little bit of weight uh-huh but he's also shedding uh -huh. well this is his summer coat mm -hmm. just like stormy yeah it's a true bay yeah kiss kiss and then he stays maybe alive. we should put him up a little bit more he's on his staying. grain so on his legs no you have those days where you're skinny <laughs> so then you have those days where you're fat. fat. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Right? <laughs> so he's, you know what we're talking about. Those days when you're a bit skinny and then there's days when you're a bit fat. Oh, I'm I don't know though. He should be fat. I'm always fat. So. Never get yourself a horse that takes like a lot to feed because holy heck. Oh, he's also more thoroughbred than horse. Yeah. Two parts. Thoroughbred, I'm on part four horse. I know, but I've seen pictures of him on grass when he was young, where he like was a really good weight. So I think the grass will really tide him over. Like I, I have anxiety about giving him a massive oh, amount of spot. grain. How much grain does he get? How much grain does he get? Five and four. He's gonna itch for me. He gets four and five. Mom, video camera. He gets 18 cups of grain a day. Video. 18 cups. Here. I like it. I'm afraid he's gonna bite me. Yeah, he is. No, he's grooming me. But then after they bite. Don't bite. You know, Finny. Finn bites. Not in a mean way, just in a. Just a better way. Of look, he needs to groom. Here, do my back. I'm telling you now. Oh, oh, man, you are better at this than Sam. Oh, that feels so good, Chino. Oh. Bite her. Don't bite me. Oh my god. Ah! God. Oh, his teeth hit my neck. That, that could be bad. I mean, he didn't actually hurt me. And he didn't actually bite me, but I mean, feeling his teeth on your neck, on your bare neck, it's kind of scary. I don't know. It's yeah. scary for me. That was scary. Eating your horse's treat. You're just eating a whole carrot. Oh, you couldn't break the carrot in half when you bit it. So it's just like this. 
<laughs> Breaking the carrot. Show them how to do it with this nose. We need small food. Oh, he's gonna kick it. Oh, kick the ball! Yay!
He's smelling. He's like, I know there's mares in here. One of the things that makes it frustrating for her is that he has terrible ground manners. And she like, like you can lead him. Leading him is obviously something he's done a lot, but he's, he's ever since we got him, he's just not like, but I remember our boys were a little bit like that, especially with me. And now they're all perfect. I know it'll come with time, but it's just frustrating when you have a horse that you can just do anything with and he's easy. And then you switch to another horse that's big and heavy and I don't know. It's just a struggle. It's definitely a struggle and thankfully we've been there before. So I know that it'll pass. It just needs like constant work. Dun, da, da, da. This is us. One whole meal in one. This is a meal in one. It's got vegetables. It's got cheese. It's got, it's got all of it, you guys. This is um, bacon, no, broccoli and cheese stuffed chicken breast with bacon. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, yeah, I made this. I made it. I'm going to cook it and then we're going to have it for supper. What are we doing? Watching a movie that so we, I really like. Yeah, so we have uh, supper in and we're all going to sit together and Gabby's going to come too. What's the name of the movie, Sophie? Uh, at Champion Heart. It looks so good. It's been cooking longer than it said. I thought the bacon would get more crispy, but it's not. Okay. We're going to eat it. Best chicken I ever made. Okay, so we are gonna end today's vlog with Sam and Gabby doing their very first ever daddy-daughter duet on TikTok. Yeah.